evening. Hey, Sam. Game is loud in my ears. Great evening. Oh, that's good. That's good. Okay. Uh, no, don't start the thing again. Um, we didn't quite make it to Goods Hill last night because I was trying to do stuff on the side. So, what we are going to do is we are going to go down the first 20 floors of the pit to help Pinty here. And then we will have to Goodsville. So I don't know if we'll make it to Yoshi tonight. Okay. I kind of just scrolled through that, but basically like his dad lost his job and was like, well, then I'll just go get the treasure that's at the bottom of this to support my family. <clears throat> so, um, we're off to go save Toad. Pinty Senior. Tomorrow will, uh, is something that needs to be titled on. We'll probably be Hades too. And then we'll get back to Mario on... Monday. It's a very interesting concept. Why not x ray? That's a Boomba. Not to be confused with the Boomba. Been really tired lately. Yeah. Nope. Um. Yeah. Again, it's hard to say. Like I'm trying not to be stressed out about stuff. Because technically everything's fine, but it doesn't feel like it's fine. <clears throat> Which is always a fun, you know, thing. I'll be okay. It's also like, it's really hot and I'm not happy about it. Thank you. Nope. Too bad that didn't make me dizzy. <laughs> they're they're doing like the same motion. So it's It's very similar. Oh, that's a fire bar. I mean, obviously, I'm right, but like, I'm not doing that. I don't know, Dizzy does. Down the pipe, Mario. <clears throat> oh, that's a mover. Do I have the money for that? What floor are we on? We can do two levels for ten. Mm -hmm. 
So five for 30 would have been good, but not, oh, lost it all. That, you know what? Nope. I'll just take care of that issue right now. Thank you kindly. I'm floor we on. Five. Okay. The person we're looking for is on either floor 17 or 18. I don't remember. So as long as we don't go past that. Would be tempting to try to go to floor 50 for the item that's down there. <clears throat> I don't know if we would make it. TBH. Do it. I mean, I appreciate the vote of confidence, but, um,. I really don't think we'd make it. Especially with my item supply at the moment. Like, if I got poisoned... I have- a sweet treat feels poisoning, I think. Probably do floor fifty after Glitzville. And then if not after Glitzville, then definitely after Twilight Town. As a kid, yeah. My favorite's the train. Just because I don't know. I like those kind of things. I like puzzles, mystery things like that. Um. I also remember getting exceedingly worried the first time I played because you get stranded on the island. And I didn't know how long. Because I played games like that where you're like stuck on a place so you can't go anywhere. And it's like, I didn't know how long I would be there, and, like, my item situation was not great. Oh, really? I didn't know that either. Voice actors! <laughs> when I think about voice actors, like, ones I grew up listening to, and I had no idea anything about them. Was like, it's always fun to like go back and like see all the characters of like, yeah, I really did grow up listening to this person. Um, but like for me, it was the voice actor of SpongeBob. Ken Is it Kenny Rogers? I don't remember. It's Kenny something, right? Um, 
I didn't watch Spongebob a whole lot, but he voices Raimundo from Sh Tom Kenny. There we go. Who the fuck is Kenny Rogers? I don't know where I got that name from. No, Tom Kenny is right, now that I see it. He voices Raimundo from Shaolin Showdown, which is something I watched a bunch when I was a kid. And then... Like, because I didn't watch Spongebob, and so I never thought about that. But then also, I didn't, I somehow I missed TFA. I don't know how. Um, TFA is Transformers Animated. Um, which came out in 2007. Uh, he voices Starscream in that Transformers series. And it's so good. It's such a good Starscream voice. But once you know it's Spongebob, you can't unhear it. <laughs> Like, say, like, go up, like, look, if you want to, of course, look up TFA Starscream. It's really funny, and it's, it's really good. I'm, I'm so surprised. It's, once, the thing is, like, once you know it's Tom Kinney, you don't unhear it. But, like, when you watch him play Ramundo, when you watch him play Starscream, it doesn't immediately come off as Spongebob, and that's good. And other characters. Those are the only two, like, I can think of off the top of my head. He, of course, plays other characters. But yeah, this guy, look how expensive these items are. By comparison to how much I would normally pay for them. Except for this. I think this is only has an increase of, like, 50. But, like, this? I can buy this for, like, yeah. It's really bad. It's like, do you really need healing? Do you really? <laughs> it's all hot. I mean rare stuff. I wonder if that means he sold, like, stole it. Right? When an item's hot, that means it's like it was stolen and they're trying to, like, get it away and get rid of it quick, right? That's hilarious. Because the other term of that, like, a hot item would be, like, a really popular item that's selling quick. So it's like double meaning depending on how you want to interpret that. That's fun. Oh yeah, absolutely not. I did I just kill that Goomba. Oh no, but no, he's a regular Goomba. Go Goomba. I can't tattle on him. Mm-hmm. I can tattle on this pokies, though. It's fine, I'll run into another one. Oh, that did not... I sure did. No jumping on the pokies, I know this. Ow. Ow again. There we go. <laughs> Whoops. Well, now what do I do? It's always a little hard to tell because of the input lag. I can't tell if I'm hitting something too soon or too late. There we go. We're good. Oh, and we went up a level, and that will heal me. Fantastic. Perfectly planned. I'm just going to be sitting at 15 hit points for a while.
Kalito, if you roll off onto my coffee, we're gonna have an issue. Okay, we're gonna get rid of super appeal so we can put on quick change. And then what do we need next? I would like to put on flower saver. Actually, what we'll do is we'll take off Pretty Lucky, we'll put on Happy Flower. I would like to put on Flower Saver for the partner. Yeah. You tag yourself, I'm Happy Flower. I don't have the badge that I would be. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. Could you imagine that, like... Nope, don't do it. Mario has two of those. He has Sleepy Stomp and Soft Stomp. So, what that quick change thing does... Although I know you've played the game before, Sam. But... But it does. So let's me change out somebody and then go instead of because like if you don't have it on swapping out the person takes up the turn but this way I can swap them out and completely mess up my timing twenty years to be accurate I know it has been no you do it. There we go. Nope, I didn't. Uh, I didn't swap targets. Oh my god, Kirby Air Raid. That's a freaking flash from the past. That and Sonic Air Raiders. Or what was it called? Yep. Was it Sonic Air Raiders? Sonic Raiders. You know which one I'm talking about, though. I have I told the story on stream before I know I've told it to Yulia. That game I gave myself an injury. Or not an injury. But it was a it was a controller related cruise. I think I've told the story before. Cause you know in that game how you're supposed to rotate the joystick? To like, do a thing. I can't remember what the thing is, but you're supposed to rotate the joystick to do it, right? And... Like, you know, like that. And in order to do it quickly... Yeah. Um, in order to do it quickly, I would put the palm of my hand against the joystick and move my hand in the circle. Cause that was faster than doing it with my thumb. And I had a bruise in the middle of my hand from doing it like that. <laughs> yeah. So many people were like, oh, you didn't wrap your shirt around it and do it that way? And I'm like, no, I just stuck my palm on the thing. <laughs> like I had never heard of this shirt technique before. <laughs> Probably because Jay is also a gamer. I grew up knowing how to button mash, basically. Oh. 
or at least like a single button mash. I know there are people who like have tricks to it where you like remap the buttons so you can hit two buttons and they count for the same thing. Like okay, yeah, that does that does count. But like you know. Marie, we do still have Marie. I completely obliterated that spider. Spider games have some of those by default. Spelling start today. No, it's a new achievement. I fighting games were weird to me because I didn't understand parts of it. Because I, I grew up playing like RPGs, and then like my brothers would play fighting games. So I grew up playing RPGs, and you know RPG like turn-based RPGs, and it made more sense of like this than this, this than this. And so with fighting games, like I didn't, and I think my reaction time was a little clustered from it. So I would just hit buttons without really understanding the whole thing about it. Oh yeah, like uh, mapping a combo to a, um, or a card thing to, oops, never Oh, oh, he was doing that. I was like, why is it taking him so long to throw? Shoot, that's not what I want. I messed that up. See, unless I'm earning money back this way. Like, even if it's 10 coins a fight. I think it gets to be more later. I'm not sure. We will also earn a fair bit of money. A, a fair bit of money in Glitzville. talk about it, that was really bad. I don't remember. But yeah, it's it's been a while. Oh, how kind of you to all be on the ground where I can hit you. Like, I don't think I can handle a clay hammer, but I can hit the coops. At least there's the second one thing that's so crazy. Oh, I punched the mic, I'm sorry. I keep letting go of it too soon.
Not sure about that, but I thank you. We'll, we'll take what we can get. Oh, not that one. <clears> hey, <throat> certain fights later are going to be fun. Look a little fun. Sushi! Hello, why the side fit? You're all alone. What? No. Aww. Well, I'm here in stream, and like if you need to talk to somebody after stream. <clears throat> He would like to just sleep through all. Oh. Well, I mean, if he's tired or has to work tomorrow, I get it. <clears throat> 65! My goodness. Great, right? isn't she amazing? Yeah, so he's probably super tired. Callie. Callie Cat. Callie Cat, I can't see the screen through you. Someone tell me where the cursor is. Okay, never mind, I got it. Ah! Polito! Do not! No, young lady! Oh yeah, so is that gonna be in... I have no idea which day she intended. <laughs> um... Well... So she might be at work or getting up to get ready to go to work, but if you send her a message, like ask her. No. What am I doing here, other than being confused? Actually... <sighs> He's repelling damage, I'm not happy about that. Ooh, both of you are so lucky. Oh no. What do you mean? I was gonna say sushi though, is after stream, if you're still up and wanna hang out, I'll be free. I was being stubborn and just attempted to weed eat the backyard at night. Strenuous. There you go. I think. I I know what word you're trying to spell, but don't actually ask me how to spell it. One of those is correct. Oh, immediately with the poison mushroom. Come on. Weed eaters are... Oh my goodness. Between, like... I think our weed eater is also taller than me. Um, but, like, the, the power of the motor makes my hands go numb when I'm trying to hold it. Which is why, ow. Yeah, that wasn't gonna be fun. It's why my brother does the, um, yard work. Or, well, that portion of the yard work. I think ours is too, like it has a battery that you charge and you stick in it. 
I would love to get my brother a lawnmower, like a proper lawnmower, because I think that would make it a lot easier. And then he could just weed eat what needs to be weed eated. Weeded, whatever. Yeah, but like, I feel like you need a decent side. Like, never mind space for like storing one on my on my end anyway. Um. Uh, my yard's not actually big enough for it. And it's also on a hill. Like, the house I live on is on a weird little hill. It would not work out. No. But, right, like, if you had a riding lawnmower, I'd be like, yeah, I'll go mow the lawnmower. <laughs> like, even if it was really hot, like, it's like, okay, I won't be out there too long. I'll do it in sections or I'll do it in the morning. Uh, but every time I think about buying a lawnmower, I'm like, that's expensive, and I need to put that money elsewhere. Like, I want to get an actual, like, charcoal grill. There he is, there's Pinty Senior. Um. Like, I feel like getting, like, a bigger grill would be. You have a life mushroom. Give me that. Wrecked himself on his rider flying across the- No, you can't just steal it from them when you take them out like that. You have to- I would have had to have a different character to do it. Shoot. I was hoping I could steal it. Wrecked himself on his rider flying across his yards when he dipped the gr- Oh. Yeah, that's scary. Oh, I wasted that FP then, if I couldn't have gotten it from them. Well, I wonder... No, because if it goes off automatically, then even putting them to sleep probably wouldn't have worked. What is this? Hold on, Pinty Senior, you're not going anywhere. Ooh. Yeah? Like, that looks smaller than some of the other ones I know I've seen. So it would be doable. First, you want to get a snow blower. There's a beaten up me lying on the ground. <laughs> you narrating someone fighting you. Sam, have you? No, yeah, you live in Chicago, or you live in Illinois, right? You've had to shovel snow before, right? Right, but I think so. It's like so you you realize like shuffling snow is not great. Everything is tall and heavy. <laughs> oh, sushi. No, I get it. not he had a super shirt and dropped me maple syrup which I like I really shouldn't be complaining about but uh yeah that doesn't quite add up I'm fully healed yeah well 
Maybe they'll go on sale again. The exit. Okay, thank you. I'm on my way home. Okay, he just goes up. Yeah, for them to, like, it's like they had leftover ones, so they sold them. I was, like, fingers crossed that they would go sail on sale again, like, in autumn. Makes sense. Uh, okay. Do we try to go down to floor 50, or do we go back up? What is Wuthering Waves? Like, I've been... If you don't have anyone to play the game with you. Um, isn't that really bad? Doesn't he, like, need to do that? Eat the dinner. Okay, so that's only the one that just grabs coins, which is annoying. But it's not the same as the ones that grab items or other things. Mm-hmm. Oh, everybody but the bandit. Okay, good. We can fire then, at least. He'll wake up on his own, and then that way you already have a sandwich. Yeah. He'll smell the PB. Sam for peanut butter? Alright, noted. Weathering Waves is kind of like Genshin, but different company, and it's based in futuristic China. In some sort of weird apocalypse thing. Okay. Shy guy, what are you doing? Oh, okay, thank you.
how did you manage that? Can you adjust it so that it's not an overseas version? He was inception. It's a boo. Yeah. Hmm. Hopefully you'll be able to like move your book. I meant like save file. Isn't Kitchen also free to play? Okay, well, I think it does eight hundred at least. Oh, really?
Oh, that only did two points. Shoot. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. As I said before, y'all are kind of dope, too. Or, that's not what I said. Or, I said you're pretty dope yourself. Stop it! Second, I'm fighting with spikies. I'm potentially dying to the spikies. <clears throat> oh, that's good. I'm glad. I am not giving her double bounce for some reason. Placketoo, this is why no one likes you. Which is untrue, because I like Placketoos, but also. In the back of my brain, I'm just telling myself, I told you so. Should have waited until you got into. I um, Good spill. So you could have had the Yoshi. I like Rakitu was in Mario 64 as the camera person. So, like, it's true. He is a very important little dude. Like I said, I do actually like Rakitu. But, like, son of a biscuit. You gotta admit, they're super annoying enemies. Ooh, I'm not doing any damage with the camera. So what? You keep mentioning time. I only got five coins for that one. Tomorrow. Tomorrow is correct. Oh! See, I didn't know that. Or if I did, I didn't. 
You're dreading it like some sort of weirdo. Are you gonna poof in an hour and a half? Do you have bad luck on your birthdays usually? Okay, so it's just anxiety being a jerk. Got it. Well, tell your anxiety to stuff it for a couple hours and... It'll be okay. Aww. I think it's probably gonna blow up when I do this. Alright. Right. <clears throat> right. No. A good crunch. I mean, if she keeps with this schedule, she's potentially streaming on her birthday. I mean, that's kind of cool. I mean, they might be busy doing other things on their birthday. Wait, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, well. Do either of those things have, um, what you call it, specific set dates?
the entire background just I might be dead. Yep. Well, it's very kind of them to do because I am saved. That's also a different fight. You so alive? How'd that happen? Bates? Which widget is it? And is it one you actually have? So that's not a widget on Twitch, that would be in your stream elements or your layout, right? So then in stream elements, it's a, like, like, yeah, it's an alert box, and then you just set it to whatever it is. Like, do you need to ask this person, or, or tell them, like, I was gonna say, direct them to a um, stream elements tutorial. Or if it's your layout specifically, that's a different matter, because you either... Well, if it was free, then I guess you could tell them where you got it, but like if you commissioned it or someone made it specifically for you, that's a different matter. Or if you bought it, I don't know. Or they're trying to sell you a new one. <laughs> also a possibility. I could do.
Oh yeah. No, Sam, were you here that night? Someone popped into, um... As when Sushi was streaming Tormented Souls. And both of us read their message, thought they were a bot, and banned them when they weren't. And then I, we had to, like, unban them real quick. But it was, like... It was very weird. Oh, somebody that was in stream earlier. Hmm. No. Why that keeps happening to sushi people giving her unsolicited advice on these <laughs> I know this is going to immediately set off that first bomb. Okay, it did it to them. Kind of what I wanted. What, being a Twitch partner? Yeah. even more expensive the further guy on you go. That's hilarious. Okay, we made it to floor 30. We're getting the frick out of here. I spent on there longer than we meant to. Hi, Pinty. Your dad's back. Good luck with that. I'm, I'm not reading their dialogue, we're just... Thank you. Okay, hey, I'll have... Okay, is that pack was kind of worth it? Because I have the trouble. Saving. Like when we are done with Blitzville, we'll come back and go to floor 50.
bought it on Etsy. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know you could buy them on Etsy. If it's the, like I say, it may have also just been, like, maybe they don't know how to set up the widgets on stream elements. And if they're not using stream elements, if they're using, like, Streamlabs or something, then it's like, that's not a program we use. I couldn't tell you anything about how Streamlabs works. I mean, like, we went in there with less than 100, now we have 300, because you get like 10 coins a thing. Sam, we have to beat up your brain. Is it being rude? <laughs> Although, that was a jam and jelly for a pretty good, decent discount price. So you can get ship your brain over to me, I'll beat it up, and then I'll send it back. Uh, sure. All the time, sushi. But, uh, I mean, you know. I... I don't mind it because I know the few people who do come into my stream enjoy them. Or at least that's what I've been told. And I enjoy doing them. So I think both those things are very important. You know, when it comes to streaming, A, as long as you're enjoying it, and B, if you have a goal set out to, like, do things with it. As long as you're, like, moving towards it. Um, and I know in our case, like, we're affiliated, so we are earning some money off of it, even if it's not a whole lot. And I think you're, you do really good. That's fair. It is. One thing I wanted 
to do, and I was going to suggest this to Sushi too, of course, um, is, um, but see, now it's weird because it's like, is TikTok going to like go away? Is it going to get canceled? <laughs> but it's like, you know, you put, you take clips of your streams and you put them on TikTok and it's, you can gather more viewers that way. And then even so then people can see it and at least like it. I know I could also do the same thing on YouTube. With YouTube shorts. And I do, I send all my VODs to YouTube, because I do plan to, like, eventually, like, edit them and get them into, like, videos. Yeah, same. Although, doesn't Twitch have a thing where you can just instantly send a clip to TikTok? I try to. I haven't posted that video yet. I'm still working on it. <laughs> video editing is so hard. It's just, I've looked up so many tutorials, it hurts my brain. I do it in really small sections. I haven't actually touched it in a while because I've been busy writing. And see, so that's, I feel like that's part of my problem is I'm doing too much. Not too much. How do I say this? But like, I stream, and I write, and I have two other jobs, and it's a bunch of stuff. It's one of those things, it's like I'm spreading myself too thin. And so like, I'm making progress, but like, very slow progress. I mean, you might be. You do really good with like, data inputs and stuff like that, and I feel like once you got into a flow of it, you would probably figure it out. You could look up, um, so what I have is like the free version of DaVinci. Yeah, what I have is the free version of DaVinci. And there's a lot of tutorials for like how to use it and stuff like that. So it's evidence that, like, when you do have a goal, you go, you take the steps to get to it. Even if you need help or you ask for advice. Exactly. But that's the insane. Like, you, you got to that goal. Like, you figured it out. Right? And it's okay to ask for advice and look up tutorials. Okay, so Lumpy's not taking any more investments. Here. You got the secret slime and you figured it out. Alright. <laughs> I think I'm missing part of that context for that statement, but... No. What show? Toledo, do not lay on my mouse. Kitten, what did I just say? <laughs> Sorry, just um. Never heard of it before, Sam. Okay, but, like, without your VTuber, and your VTuber is super cute. Little Mom did a great job. The VTuber, the sushi, is still your idea, though. And how you act and how you stream is still you. Right? So those two things go together. You are still, you know, one of the reasons why it worked, one of the reasons why you're successful.
Okay, thank you, Lucky. See, that's what I like about the lotto, is, like, even when... Aww. But it was, like, you know, it was a startup, and it's nice to see the evolution of it. Was the Blind Princess your first affiliate stream? That's fun. I'm confused. I think that's just Final Fantasy 15, part 14, I mean, part of the course. course. Part of the course. I can't speak. Kalito, don't do it. everything. I <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Chirp at me just because I sneezed. I'm allowed to sneeze, Callie. I just got fussed at because I sneezed. Uh, thank you, Sam, I guess. Sorry. I'm only saying I guess is because like that's a default statement to say when someone says bless you. I okay. <laughs> Not gonna get into this argument right now. Don't do that. <laughs> the site goes to Glitzville. You will need a ticket to travel with us. Ticket? Which is thankfully a life. Oh yeah, have you seen the like... Like, IRL, how many hit points do you think you have? And using D&D stats, or whatever, basically. Like, basic tabletop RPG. How many hit points do you think you have? Okay. Someone used this example of a, um... Like a really cheap baseball bat as a basic club and like how much damage that club does on average which i think was like four or something like that like three to four and they're like okay you think you could get hit with this baseball bat that many times and not be unconscious you kind of have a tmi confession Okay, well, it's up to you if you want to drop it here in chat or if you want to DM it to me. Not to be weird. I don't care. Personally. On the game or, like, a more IRL thing? Oh. Do you have medicine for that? Yeah. Medicine, heating pad... Tell your biology to... Oh... 
Yeah. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? I, <laughs> I live on the heating. As glitz and glory. There we go. We're finally in chapter three. Oh, really? Like it's like really long or something? It's been in my chair for days. Oh. Oh, that sounds so nice. I wish being warm didn't make me want to crawl out of my skin. Because 90% of the, like, recommendations for dealing with a muscle ache or a pain is to use a heating pad or something warm, right? And, like, I can't do it. Like, heating pads, like, I like if there's... Even with a blanket between me and the heating pad, I just can't do it. Hey, let's go. It is specifically blunt damage, and I think back in 3.5, I don't know if they had this carried over the 5th, but 3.5 you had the thing called subdual damage, was only like bruising, right? It's like, it's not, you haven't been cut open or burned, it's a bruising. Um, and then like, if your subdual damage hit your... It was either half or equal to your actual hit points. You passed out. Versus, like, being dead. From, like, bleeding. It's super long, and I have to live with it on usually during stream. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, smart timers are good, because then, like, you don't have to worry about... That. Yeah, so I think average human hit points is 10 to 12, and that's being generous. But it's an interesting thing to think about. <clears throat> my, my, Glitzville, I've heard that the Glitz Pit is just full of bra brawny brawls. I must admit that the prospects of some hurly-burly gets me a touch peaked. Now, darling, let's find that crystal star. Hmm? Oh, yeah. The only reason why my constitution wouldn't be a freaking negative is because, um... Well, I'd actually have to look into, like, the stats for that again. Not a negative, I mean below 10. Okay, so that- we can go back to Roadport. We're not stuck in Glitzville. You see the hot dog stand over there? Best hot dog menu of all time, no joke. Hey, but you look more into fighting than hot dogs. Are you a pro? I'll root for you. Just immediately roots for you, like, you got this. Bop. They say that, but you don't actually fight them. God, that would be hilarious if you did. Hey there, welcome. Our doors are always open for thirsty fight fans. So grab a frosty juice and take a load off and enjoy. Oh yeah, so this is the juice shop, right? Like he just said. But the bartender at Roadport is a, um, he's a cola bartender. Like they drink Coca-Cola there. Uh, you don't look very familiar. You on vacation? Me? Just a Lakitu who digs on combat sports. Dude, nice meeting you. Today's main event will rule. I'm betting on Rock. No matter who is fighting him. Noted. Nope. That fabulous mustache. Seen it somewhere before. I know it. Yes, Mario. That is definitely a name I've heard somewhere before. Bonjour, Monsieur de la Mustache. You also come to this place? Right now, I am loopy with love for that ravishing creature over there. 
She is a sight to behold, and I saw her first. Sir, that is not how that works. This is why people want to throw you off a building. Bop. Oh, can I not bop it yet? No, there we go. Sam, do you know the end of this game? Also, you fight Vivian and her sisters. here is there are feminine female people that you fight in this game. <laughs> Haven't seen your face around here and I know I'd remember a stash like that. Listen guy, if you want to see a match head on inside, that's the good spot. It's the only, well it's not the only building. <laughs> that's the primary building in this area. It still hangs out in the clouds. I'll give you two guesses why I like it here. You read the blimp here, didn't you? Boy, I envy you. I'm dying to write that thing, but the air travel makes me yak. Please don't yak, darling. That would be bad. So look, what well, time is now snack time. Oh, well, you're the guy. It's snack time, everybody. Put up our in coupon. It's so funny that they have an in coupon here. Because, um. Don't exactly have an in. Okay, this is Hoggle. He sells hot dogs. We're not gonna buy a hot dog right now. We'll buy one later. I mean, the edge of the town's right there, if we really want to. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, we're good. Gold Bob. So this is Goodsville. Hmm? Not a bad place, if a little on the tawdry side. Perhaps I'll begin my stay here with a hostile buyout of that hot dog stand. And, nope, that's still Gold Bob. And Sylvia. Her hat's so cute. I find this floating city concept quite fascinating. Yes, it intrigues me. I wonder what sort of coinage one might shell out to build a vacation home here. And their son, Bub. I am hungry. I want to eat a hot dog, and I want to eat it right now. Spoil child alert. Actually, Bub's not so bad. They do. <clears throat> hey, Mr. Mustache Guy, where's Prince Mush? Where's Prince Mush? Hi, we're here because my son is a big fan of the former champ, Prince Mush. But it looks like he's not around here anymore. And we came all this way just to see him. Bit of a crying shame, really. Move it to one side, small fry. The only top thing my camera shoots is famous athletes. Yo, out of the way, pal. I don't do stories on nobodies. Sorry. Move it or lose it. What is this guy? What is he? What is he supposed to be? This man was a carrot. Hmm. Oh, hello, Mr. Mustache. We meet again. Nothing? Just that? Okay. She didn't have anything else to say. Welcome to the Blitz, but here are savage battles go on each and every day. Oh, yes, this is the little lady that's like weirdly obsessed with that guy. There's a guy over there who gets paid to say that, right? Boy, it's hard to find a guy that clean, cut, and responsible these days. 
I sigh just thinking about him. Yeah, that's the rankings. Toodles! I think. I think her name's is Toodles. Well, hello there, you big, burly hung of a man, you. You're smashing, dear. But I'm afraid I'm only interested in the champion, Rock Hawk. Toodaloo! Hey, how you doing, bud? I'm the freelance cameraman. I'm always after a scoop. Okay, normally he's standing on this side. I guess that's lighter. Glorious venue. Oh, mercy, Mario. Look there. Those two brutes are about to have at each other. They've been having at each other. I... This guy. Oh, I just realized I have to say his lines. Uh... They're actually just dancing. It's a very, like, passionate dancing competition. <laughs> What if I didn't, though? What if I just didn't say his line? It was just silent. Uh, super deadpan. That'd be so funny. <laughs> like, just say all of his lines, just super monotone and deadpan. <laughs> oh god, I wonder how long I could keep that up. No, because then it would make him be cooler, or sound cooler than he is. He doesn't deserve that. Like, I actually just thought about it for a second. <laughs> he doesn't deserve that. Callie. I started laughing too much, and then I couldn't get convinced myself to start reading the lines. Um, I'll take care of it next time. I can't deal with the grandstanding of wrestling. Like, honestly, I think that's part of my problem, is like, it's secondhand embarrassment. It's like, please stop talking. I just came here to watch you punch a guy, not to talk. But it's, it's entertainment, it's showbiz. Right? So it's like, they gotta do it. Yeah. Oh my word, Mario! On that uncouth... <laughs> I just called him uncouth. <laughs> On that uncouth bird's belt, is that a crystal star? Yes, I do believe it is. That wonderful sparkle is yet another crystal star. But such a tawdry, ta tawdry, tawdry place to find it. Why would it be here of all places? Oh, you know. <clears throat> Whatever shall we do? I don't fancy the idea of stealing that fellow's belt. What shall we do, Mario? Battle our way to the top. If it's not a spinner, it's not a real belt. What do you mean by that? Oh, Kelly, 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 Kelly! Oh, for the star to spin on it? Got it. Oh, you darling man, I'm so happy to hear you say that. I'd expect nothing less. 
You're ten times the man of anyone here. You'll be champion in no time. Let's move on then, shall we? Our next step is to become official fighters, I imagine. Oh, my heart is positively thumping. Let's find whoever is in charge this minute. Oh, that means I have to go back here. You know what? Hold on, we've been streaming for almost two hours. Let me save here and we will officially start Let's Fill Monday. <clears throat> also, so I can get my brain in the right mindset for voicing all the crazy characters here. Even if not giving them unique voices, at least trying to capture the tone. <laughs> Gotta prepare mentally, mostly. <clears throat> Alrighty. Well, I will see you all tomorrow for Hades 2. Um, and yeah, like I said, Monday we'll get back to Paper Mario, and then from there, I don't super know what the schedule is look like, except probably Final Fantasy 3 on Friday. But until then, thank you all so much for stopping by. Have a lovely evening or time of day that is for you, and I will see you next time. Bye!